Hey, my friends, I'm Dr. E, as I'm known here at the Sanctuary Church, or Dr. Eric Sanders, the lead pastor of this incredible little community of faith on the west side of Colorado Springs, near Manitou Springs, Colorado. We have had the privilege of watching the arts just blossom here in our midst, and I want to encourage you to think through how valuable visual arts can be in your own church congregation. I mean, we know that God is a creative God, that he is just prolific in how he creates things from uh, sunsets and sunrises to mountainscapes and the plains. And artists have a unique ability of reflecting that glory back to him. Human beings themselves, we are visual learners just as much as we are intellectual learners or auditory learners. And, and so throughout history, the arts have been a very important part of communicating the bigger story of God, the, the narrative of the Bible, and most importantly, the very life of Christ himself. And of course, we know it's biblical because the very first mention of being filled with the Spirit of God comes in Exodus 31, where God said, I'm going to put my spirit within Bezel, and he is going to be anointed to do all kinds of arts and crafts, and God used him to help decorate the temple itself. So let me just show you around a little bit about what arts has done in transforming our simple little former Baptist building, which is now the Sanctuary Church, so you can see how it adds life and color. And we just start right here. We have sculptors in our church that have done some amazing things, and and we embrace all kinds of arts, whether it be uh, painting, poetry, sculpting, things like that. I'll just walk you over here and I'll show you a couple other things we have going. So welcome to the sanctuary at the Sanctuary Church. You'll notice along our walls we have lots of art. All this art has actually been produced on Sundays or like Good Friday services, things like that. We have decided that arts need to be a part of the worship experience, just like music and the word. Uh, let me tell you, this is how it works. If you find a good leader, somebody with vision, and somebody who actually can replicate and empower other people, arts will really blossom in your church. Just like when you have a great musician, if you have a great worship leader, that person tends to attract other musicians. Artists do the same thing. We realize that where we live in Colorado Springs on the west side, it's full of artist communities, artist guilds. And so art is actually outreach for us as much as it is uh, worship experience. A lot of it starts here at this little station we have. People can come here during the songs or during the teaching and they can just draw. We tell people, look, it's just like uh, drawing a picture for your daddy and he can put it on his refrigerator. We draw a picture for Papa God and it's just an act of love to tell him we love him and he's, we don't critique the art, we just value people expressing themselves. You'll notice some of the other pieces that have been produced along here. Uh, we, we integrate that into a number of things in our sanctuary here, which we call worship stations. This is a prayer station using prayers from the historic Christian faith. And as you move up through here, you'll see some other things that we do in terms of arts. And it leads up to what we call as our lead art station, which would be up in the front here. And this we always have one or two artists that um, have prayed through the message, they know what I'm going to be teaching or one of our teaching team is teaching, and they try to integrate arts to express what God is saying uh, through the word and through the worship. And so it's fairly integrated around here, and it really does uh, empower people to use the gifts that God has given them in very creative ways. So I want to challenge you to think broader than just expressing and learning about God through songs, and through our intellect in preaching the word. God has always empowered his people to reflect his very nature in other ways. And arts is definitely one that is coming back into the church today. If you have any questions, please give me a call, send me an email. I'd love to talk to you and coach you through how it's worked for us. In the meantime, God bless you. Keep doing the things God's asked you to do.